Get ready, East Texas. We had winds whipping up to 40 miles per hour today, and as Savannah mentioned, there's a potential for ice in the forecast early next week. And of course, with inclement weather comes power outages. And that's right. Our Dan Malay spoke with experts around the community today to learn more about the relationship between Tyler's beautiful tree canopy and the power outages that often come with rough weather. I know here where, where I live, you know, we were without water for several days, and I know uh, other areas were without water as well. That was, if, if my memory serves me correct, the first time that I've seen that in, in my lifetime here in East Texas. Back in 2021, big swaths of Texas were plunged into the deep freeze and millions of folks lost power for several days. While it may not be as intense as the big freeze, we could see some wintry weather early next week. So what about the trees in East Texas makes them affect access to power so often? Uh, so the trees that we have here, we're, we're basically on the extent of the timber industry for the Southwest. So that means our trees are big enough to be sold as timber, uh, which means they're also big enough to, to cause pretty big issues if, if something bad were to happen, you know, like when we have these events. Something folks in Tyler know all too well, oftentimes this inclement weather can lead to power outages. And while there's not a ton you can do about a 100 foot tall tree taking down your power lines, according to Encore, there are some things that you can do to prepare in case of a power outage. First thing I would do is have, have a kit set aside uh, that's, a, that's a, a power outage kit that has water in it. It has, if you have a AM, FM radio that has a crank, uh, then, then make sure you have that in there uh, so that you can listen to what's going on in the community around you. Trimble also emphasizes the importance of conserving energy by dropping your thermostat just a degree or two, which allows all Encore customers to take better advantage of their services. He adds that if you're in a disaster situation, and if you can... Check on your neighbors. Uh, be, be a good, you know, we, we all love each other here in Tyler. We, we want to, we, we care about each other. And so if you have a neighbor down the road, check on them. If, if you haven't talked to them in a little bit, if the power's been out for a little while, go check on them, make sure everything's okay. In Tyler, Dan Millay, CBS 19. That's all great advice. Thank you, Dan. Thousands